Want to eat the little guy? Hey everyone, welcome back. Christina here, and we are out in beautiful Corona, California today at the 99 Ranch Supermarket. And we're hungry, I think I want to go to Tony's Barbecue. Here at 99 Ranch Market in Corona is a hidden gem of Filipino barbecue. They've got plenty of options in this massive space, including a specialty bakery slash coffee shop, a Chinese food eatery, a bubble tea shop, and even a curry and chicken joint. But we're here for Tony's Barbecue. This is not a fast food place, and every meal is grilled fresh to order. While talking with the Filipina owner, we learned this restaurant was actually part of a franchise. She explained that while dining at the West Covina location, she enjoyed her meal so much that she decided to open a space of her own, and that decision led to this restaurant in April of 2021. They have a wide variety of grilled items, including barbecue chicken, pork barbecue, but enough talking about all this food, let's eat. Oh yeah, we have to have lunch first, because if we don't, what happens when we go to the grocery store? We spend $200. <laughs> we buy too much food, huh? I want to go see those lunch. Well, we pre-ordered some goodies for here, so let's, uh, let's get our food from Tony's Barbecue today. I got balut. So Kuya and I are super excited because I want we've balut. got if you want balut, Kuya ordered balut and he's gonna try it for the first time. Here at the table we have got some rice. I forgot what kind of rice they said. Java rice. Java rice, which is right here. Yeah, Java rice. And then we've also got um, three different kinds of meat. So we have a barbecue chicken, um, we have six pieces of chicken in a sal. And then we also ordered some tuna collar, so I'm super excited to try all of those. Um, we got lumpia, obviously, for the side dish. Um, bibinka for dessert. They've got mini bibinkas here, so they're like, for me, perfect size, because I can eat the whole one and not feel guilty about it. And some achara. Vinegar sauces, suka, uh, soy sauce, lemons, all the little extra bits and pieces for the side. So I'm excited to eat, I'm so hungry. Are you ready to try balut for the first time? Yes. There you go. Whoa! Oh, there you go. Drink that. So? It's not coming out. Nothing's coming out? Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my goose. It tastes fishy somehow. I can't believe it. Okay. It's, oh. It has a tender way. Yeah, I think that's a baby duck right there. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh jeez. <laughs> the texture is soft like a boiled egg. When you eat the little guy, this little guy right here, he gets tendery, it gets savory. It's so good. This time he's having the first, first time he's having <laughs> Go for it, he baby. Likes it. Get big. He he likes it. <laughs> mm. The suka gives it a sweet and sour taste. Okay. Gives it a sweet and sour taste? Oh, you got a, did you get a little bit of a shell? I do, yeah. It's bone. Bone? <laughs> yeah, there's bone. <laughs> there's bone in it? Finish it off. This guy? Is that the head? No, it's his body. I ate the head first. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What happened? I don't know. Did something explode in your mouth? Whoa, this is so good. Yeah? Yeah. It is just so squishy and juicy. Nice. I think I would I think it would have tasted kinda better, but if I let it soak in even more. Yeah. But it still tastes really good. Oh, it's not as hard as I expected it to be. It tastes like salted duck egg, kind of. 
This is the chicken. Chicken in a cell? Yeah. You're judging by the look and the smell. So this smells like it was definitely barbecued. This doesn't smell that barbecued. Good duck. This java rice, I think that. Yeah, it's called java rice. It tastes a lot like Mexican rice. It is juicy, very tender. It's moistly hard. Moistly hard? Yeah. It soaks up all the juiciness. It's really good. Skin on this is kind of crispy. And then it gets juicy. It's very moist, the skin. And then when you get into the meat part, it gets super savory and tender. Which one's better? In a salad. Like we just did, I'm gonna do the rice first. Here's right. The Java rice does kind of taste a little bit like Spanish rice or Mexican rice. Very, very good. Obviously, it's gonna go with chicken really well. I don't know which is which, so we're gonna find out if my taste buds can tell me which one is barbecue chicken and which one is inasal. Look for taste and smell. That one's the barbecue chicken. I can tell because the, the skin is kind of sweet. It has a little bit of that sweetness, sugary flavoring to it. The chicken is super duper moist. I just dipped it in some of the suka. That's really good barbecue chicken. I'm gonna dip my chicken in a cell in my sauce. I bet they make that here in-house. That's a really good suka. I feel like we're becoming suka aficionados here. Cuchara. This skin has that classic inasal flavoring. I don't know exactly what it is that makes it different or sets it apart from anything else, but I can definitely tell. I think you can taste a little bit of the lemongrass in there. Um, it certainly has the color of that annatto oil, the little bit of oranginess. Really delicious. My husband ordered tuna collar. Never had this before, so we'll see how it tastes. I want some. Wow, that would melt in your mouth. There's a little chunk of fattiness, and then with that suka, I'm telling you, everything tastes better with a little vinegar on it, huh? Mm -hmm. Very delicious. Come here, try this. That is just so easy to chew through. Once you bite it, the tuna, just cut. It's like your teeth are a knife for some reason. Yeah. And after all that eating, you should go for a walk in the enormous supermarket. This is not an American grocery store. You will not find things like this at Kroger or Safeway. They've got a well-stocked seafood section with live lobsters and tilapia swimming in tanks. You can even have them cleaned and cooked for you there in the store. They also have food and groceries from all corners of Asia. They've got other services too, which include cell phone repair, XYZ Balik Bayan shipping, an arcade, and even an Eastern medicine shop. Banana con yellow. I'm pretty excited to try this out. And the, the penny pig is green. It'll be, I can't wait to see what it tastes like. Oh my goodness, the banana. It is sweet. Uh -huh. It's actually sweet. I've never had a sweet banana before. A sweet banana? Yeah. What other flavors are in there? You can get the hollow hollow beans. There's beans? Well, no, it tastes like hollow hollow beans. There's a lot more ice in, the, in here than there is in hollow hollow. When you get the pretty bit, it is much crunchier. I will only have one bit. Okay, don't drip it. That tastes so very familiar. Kind of tastes familiar. Definitely tastes like something familiar. Very creamy, but you can't really taste that banana. You can't taste the banana? Your brother said he could taste the banana. Okay, it's my turn. I had to wait for my cameraman to get here. Wow. It's really cold. <laughs> I got a huge chunk of banana and it's like frozen and so it's super cold. But I think it's Saba, the little bananas, because they're a little bit 
the sweeter and also a little more starchy too. That explains why I got the sweetness. Yeah, that's why it was so sweet for you. And you can tell because there's little um, the little seeds from the banana in there. And I got some jackfruit in there with that. It's really delicious. I like that a lot. Okay, so before we continue recording this video, I totally forgot to eat bibinka today when we were at the restaurant, so I'm gonna have a little bit now. Mmm, so good. And could use a little bit of butter on the top because I just warmed it up, so it would be absolutely perfect with that, but very delicious. And I love that they're small. They're like perfect size for me with a cup of coffee. Of course, we couldn't resist picking up some pastries and goodies from the bakery before heading home. I filled our tray with Chinese buns, chiffon cakes, croissants, mini cheesecakes, mango cake, egg tarts, and trifles. I didn't even have enough room to get a roll or every flavor of cream puffs. pastry problem and I love like all the breads and the sweets um, yeah so I got a whole bunch but it's not all just for me we are gonna go distribute some to our family members on the way home just for the fun of it Korean corn dog because we've never done this before Korean. Oh, my oh my gosh my can you open that up please um, and we got a cheese one, so it's all mozzarella cheese inside. That's a lot of cheese. Mommy first. Oh, so crispy. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You got the stick in your mouth. Oh. So good. Wow, that's way different than hot dog on a stick. Yeah. Because oh, it's got the car. crispy bits on it. And the cheese is like, it's totally mozzarella. So it's um like a string cheese is what it reminds me of. That's just cooked inside of there. Oh yeah. What do you think of it? Turn, it is extremely <laughs> crispy and cheesy. <laughs> crispy and cheesy? Look at this, it's so fat. All right. Well, nope. I'll let Kuya eat that. I just want to say a huge shout out and thank you to all of the viewers. Um, you know, just the way that the channel has been continuously growing over the last few weeks has been unbelievable. And following us along on our journey, we hope you enjoyed today's episode. And got till next time. Bye bye. Ingat. What are you doing? What was your favorite food for the day, Kason? I don't know. I love the balut, but I also love that corn dog. <laughs> you loved the balut? Too. You dislike the balut the most because there was a surprise. Did there was the feathers in it. <laughs> there were feathers? Yeah. And I ate the duck bill? <laughs> yes. Was, am I supposed to? Yes. <laughs> it was juicy and tasty, right? Yeah. Close. Oh, that's so good. I had it to rent. <laughs> I want balloon. That was amazing!